I was able to create all of these t-shirt and Tumblr wrap designs just in a few moments utilizing AI tools. And I'm sharing with you the exact settings you need to add to your project so you can create some of the design styles. And I'll share with you a little tip of how I was able to create these designs in bulk just to make this process go a whole lot faster. I'll share this all with you coming up next. So the software tool that we're going to use today is Kittle. Kittle is a fantastic tool to use for all things with design and for you to really create amazing products to sell on Etsy. And they have a unique area for you to find great templates you can use to really create high quality products without starting from scratch. Again, the goal here is definitely create products as quickly as possible, but also to create high quality products. And Kittle does allow you to utilize some templates. You can open it up and redesign yourself. Again, it makes this entire process really easy when you're trying to find designs to to create now in today's video we're going to specifically utilize kittle's ai feature which allows you to create high quality ai designs just in a few short seconds which allow me to create multiple designs just like this and so if you do want to try kittle on your own i have a discount code down below to make it easier for you to go ahead and get started with them and start utilizing this for your etsy business again i make sure i leave all the details down in my description box below as well as a discount code for you to get this a little bit cheaper so you can go ahead and start utilizing this for your etsy business so the first thing you want to do is head over to new project and kittle and again i'm going to share with you how to create designs for a t-shirt as well as for a tumblr wrap design and the first thing is making sure you're setting the proper size and dimensions now if you're selling this for a t-shirt you definitely want to go into printify or print for whatever platform you're using to get the exact dimension size for the t-shirt but Kittle was able to put that in there themselves when it comes down to print on demand products and so we see with Printify we are going to use the 4200 by 4800 pixel again that just makes it easy for us to get the proper size here for most of their t-shirts again if you're selling this for different products then you have the options to select the one that best fits your needs in our case today because we're selling this for a t-shirt or just for a design in general for a t-shirt we're going to select this one here and then we're going to select create design so we're going to specifically use Kittle's AI tool on the left hand side to make these AI designs stand out really well here. So I'll go ahead and click Kittle's AI and we're going to click the first portion here where it says image generator. And this is really important too. If you're starting this off for the first time, it might be set on default to turbo. And if you're set to turbo, then you're not going to get the design type of versions that we're going to get in today's video. So you definitely want to go in this and change it to Dali 3, to Flux 1.1 Pro or to Ideogram. Based upon the type of style that you want but the main two styles i really work from is dali e3 and ideogram the reason for this is that dali e3 really gives very vibrant type of colorful art designs and i use ideogram if i want to get my text spot on if i have a lot of words or just phrases i definitely want to bring out in my design so with that being said i can select one here for example i'll select ideogram and down below here we do have some options to set the ratio of 1 to 1 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 we're going to keep it 1 to 1 here and i have the option to set this as private or public because you're selling yourself on your Etsy shop I would prefer this to be private but I want to go ahead and go down a little bit further and I have the option to select image styles this can be helpful if you're trying to get a unique style with your design but one of the areas I stick to when it comes down to creating t-shirt designs is the clip art style t-shirt graphic the reason for this is that this is going to be perfect to easily remove the background that I definitely want to be done if I'm setting this on a t-shirt design we also have some options here to change the font styles and this is very helpful if you do have a lot of words or text in your design and you can quickly change the styles here which groovy style has been very popular so this is something that you can definitely explore if you feel like your text is not really meeting the mark with your designs all right so now that we know we're going to select the gram i want to go ahead and select the clip art version here for t-shirts as this is going to be the best option for us to really easily remove the background here and i want to go ahead and actually plug in my prompt and today we're going to create a t-shirt design that's going to be perfect for a kid's product where we can see that the kid is going to be promoted to a big brother and so we definitely want to follow that training design now if you do want to get access to all of my creative prompts for my ai designs i have a membership where i share with you exactly how to find these prompts how to actually utilize them to remix designs 
and also the SE keywords you can use on your products as well. I have some great AI tools that can analyze any mockup image for you to actually get the design prompt to use for your design and even go further here with remixing your design to make it more personal. If you do want to get access to my membership, you can access this for seven days for free, but this is going to be great in connection with Kittle because if you don't know what to put into the prompt box, this tool, which is called my creative prompt AI tool, can be extremely helpful, especially if you are struggling with finding the right prompt. So again, if you do want to get access to my membership along with all the perks that's there i'll make sure i leave that for you as well seven days absolutely for free for you to try out and to work alongside and to use this with kittle to find these amazing prompts all right so here's a prompt that we're going to use today and then i'm going to go ahead and click generate here i have the t-shirt graphic already selected all right here is the design that we gathered here as you can see that came out extremely well this is the part of a best-selling product i found to do well on etsy and we definitely changed this up to fit a little bit about our tractor and our bright colors here but again these big brother t-shirts are selling extremely well in multiple ways and obviously we can go and change the overall style of this change the tractor out into something else but as you can see here we definitely got the text in place as well as the overall art style in place and again this is how quickly you're able to create t-shirt designs or even like i said tumblr wrap designs i'll share with you a moment here but again if i were to create this from scratch again i would have to go find these tractors i would have to go put in the text i have to go make the text have the curve and again that could all be done manually but the goal here is to speed up this process so that we could actually create high quality products within seconds now here's a tip that i do as well that helps me speed up my entire design process i go and work from different art boards because if i'm selling this maybe as a bundle or just selling three or four different variations i like to add in those those options for me to design that way right into my canvas so with that being said all i'm gonna have to do here is go to the top portion i can hit this button where it says duplicate here and now it's going to duplicate my image and i like to do this at least four times because again the goal here is to create as many products as possible especially if i found a prompt that is doing extremely well and then from here, I like to categorize this as design one, design two, design three, because that just helps me stay organized with what I'm creating, what I'm designing. And then when I upload this into Etsy, I know exactly what part of this design I'm uploading. And then I traditionally put a theme to the design one or maybe a date. So I know exactly where I am with this. But again, I'm able to create multiple versions of this. And this is what I mean by multiple versions. Even though I'm utilizing the same prompt, AI would never give you the same design twice. So if I hit generate again, you'll see in a few moments that we do have some slight changes and some slight adjustments to our original design that we created. As you can see here, definitely bring in the same type of text, bring in the same type of theme, but definitely a different variation of this design here and even if i utilize dolly 3 it's definitely going to give me some more changes but you'll see that again ai would never create the same design twice it's always going to give you a variation and again if i know that i'm landing on a prompt or a design style that's doing extremely well i want to create many variations because again i never know which one is going to sell well so instead of me copying the same image and listing it on etsy i'd rather just send this over again to the ai and then get a different variation now another thing i like to do to speed up my entire workflow is actually create these type of designs and sets so what I mean by a set is if I'm focusing on just a big brother tractor shirt, this will be my first set of this design for the day. I'm creating four variations of the same thing here. But if I were to create multiples of these, I like to go and actually duplicate this particular project here because I want this to be a different set. So let's just say, for instance, this is project one. This is all about a tractor. Then maybe my project two is going to be about a dinosaur. Maybe my project three is going to be something related to a beach. And then maybe my project four is going to be something related to a dad. As you can see here, I'm already setting up my canvas to work on different projects at the same time because I want to open all of these up and I want to actually utilize the AI tools at the same time to create high quality products. And for instance here, if I have this one already up, which I'll just refresh this, this is bringing up tractor one, but now I definitely want to work on the other options that I have as well to create another design. So I open this up in a new tab, open this up in a new tab, and now I have dino ready i have a beach ready and i have dad ready and again i'll just erase these designs here but as you can see my canvas is already set to go for me to start creating these designs within bulk because I'm going to run specific prompts in the AI tool all at the same time. I want to run a prompt for Dino, one prompt for Beach, one prompt for Dad, and already have the tractor prompt ready to go as well. So if you are trying to create these products and try to do them within bulk, this is what I would do. And this is actually how I run my business as well. Now, be mindful that Kittle is going to charge you for every single design that you run. So just be mindful of the credits that you have. But if you do this effectively, you're able to get a lot of products up in just a short amount of time. All right. So now that we have all things in place, we can see that 
that our project one for tractor is already set. Then when I head over to project two, which is all about dino, I have my specific prompt already in place. Again, this is going to be a big brother dino shirt here. And so the text is in place. I already selected the type of AI model I'm working from, which is ideogram. And then I already have my style selected, which is going to be clip art. Same thing for my project three here, which is all about the beach, which I have my prompt that's focused on the beach style. Again, ideogram is already selected. I go ahead and hit clip art style t-shirt graphic. And same thing for this shirt. As you can see here, I have several different prompts already set to go here and this is going to be helpful because again i'm going to run all of these at the same time because to get the ai design it is going to take some time but i don't want to waste time i want to use time effectively if i have my prompt tied to best selling products then i already know i have a winning prompt that can help me sell well so let's just run all these variations at the same time and i'll share with you how easy it is to do that so i already know i have my tractor prompt here so i'll go ahead and hit generate and i'm going to let that work while i work on other things here so i have my project 2 dino shirt ready to go here again a prompt is ready so i'll go ahead and let that run by itself i have my beach prompt already set to go here so i'm going to hit generate let that run by itself and as you can see i have all of these ai tools running at the same time for me to save time so i have my dad design up here ready to go prompt is ready and so i like to open up for these products at the same time and as you can see here if our goal is to create three or four variations of the same design again that can help us really grow and scale our design process and so as you can see this tractor one is already done as you can see we didn't bring in anything different with the prompt but it gave us a different design as that was running we also have our big brother dino shirt that just got completed as well so again this will be our design one that we create for and while this was running we can see that this salt water and sunshine shirt is already complete and done and as that was running we have our father's day dad shirt we have our dad life shirt already completed and done again we were able to create four designs within a few short seconds here and we're able to speed up this entire design process and because i know that the ai would never create the same design twice i'm going to do the same thing as i did before go and hit regenerate again and let that create the fourth version here now you can go in further and after your two designs are done go in here and put another prompt for the other portion of the designs as well again you can make that change if you want but the overall process will still be the same that as one is working boom that one is done the other one is working as well that one is done and as we did before this one is done as well and as you can see this one is done as well and so that is the overall process i would do again to save time to get designs up and ready to move and again you can do this for multiple products as you can see here this will be design one this here would be design two same thing as we've done before here this will be design one this will be design two and now i just have multiple products i can list on etsy because again you never know which version will sell well you never know which keyword set will sell well but again i'm a fan of creating multiple versions so that i can have multiple opportunities for my products to be visible and start selling well on etsy and you could even go further to say if i do want to keep the same prompt but maybe change it up a little bit all i have to do here is to go into a design like this go back into my tool with kittle and maybe instead of me just changing the entire prompt i just change the style out so i keep it with ideogram here instead of me doing t-shirt graphic i'll just head over to this groovy style text design and i'll let that run and same thing as we did before here i'll select this one run this maybe as a different art style so maybe i'll pick watercolor and run that here same thing with this style here maybe this one is different and maybe i want to put more of an artistic style like this one here i'll hit regenerate and so we're working from the same prompt but definitely getting different type of styles and again you never know which one is going to sell well so the goal here is to save time and definitely find unique ways to make your product stand out even more and to use your time effectively when you are creating these designs now again killer is going to charge you for every design that's sold so just make sure that you land it on a winning prompt make sure your design your first design looks great and then from there start re-engineering different design styles maybe changing the focus up maybe if you don't want it to say salt water and sunshine maybe you go back in here and change the prompt to say something else but again you're keeping the overall design style to make it easier for you to just get another design up and out so you can start selling yourself and this will be the same thing i'll do if i'm selling a tumblr wrap product here i'll head over to new project and for tumblr wraps i'll specifically add in the custom size i want so i'll go in here and put my custom size which we're going to select this to be inches and i'm going to put 9.3 by 8.2 and this is the exact inches i will add in here i'll make sure the dpi is 300 here i'll go ahead and hit create and now i have my canvas already set to go for my tumblr wrap design i will go in here and I change my artboards to be different versions here so i have my canvas already set and now i can go and change the first design of my product here 
I can choose the type of style I want. I'll go ahead and select Groovy, and I'll go ahead and hit Clip Art Style here with the T-shirt. Even though this is for a Tumblr wrap, I think it'll still come out great. And as you can see, that could be a great product we sell on our Tumblr wrap design. And if I do want it to stretch out all the way, I can hold the button Shift and stretch it out like this as well, grabbing the edges. And now the entire canvas is created for this space here. And if I were to look at a mock-up to see how this looks, I can head over to Tumblr and I can see exactly how this will be printed out. And I think that what come out extremely well i think this will be a great design we can start selling and creating and again i'll follow the same process of creating four versions of this maybe changing things up a little bit and then have this be project one for my tumblr and then go back and create project two project three or project four and now in one day i created four projects for t-shirts and four projects for tumblr wraps and before you know it we have multiple products we can sell in one day and again the goal here is to find top trending products that you can start creating and selling yourself and definitely speed up that entire design process to create multiple versions of your product in one setting. So if you're new to selling on Etsy and you're not sure how to get started making sales yourself, I have created my step-by-step -step guide to Etsy sales. This is my simple process of how you're able to gain daily sales on Etsy. I give you over 20 practical steps and strategies you can follow as well as four exclusive videos so you know click by click and step by step what to do to get your listings up and running to make sales. This is the exact same process I've done to scale my shop to make daily sales and i want to share this with you absolutely for free simply put in the comment section below the word sales and i'd be happy to send this over to you today now check out this next video here where i share with you another top trending product you can create with ai tools to help you create amazing designs to sell on etsy as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video